Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. Today we will discuss the joint cumulative distribution function. It is also known as joint distribution function or combined CDF. Okay. In the last lecture, we discussed what is cumulative distribution function CDF. So before uh, understanding this joint CDF, let's uh, take a look at the CDF. What is CDF? We can define the cumulative distribution function CDF of a random variable x as the probability that the random variable x takes a value less than or equal to x. We are here taking x as a random variable. Okay. And mathematically we can say that CDF it is denoted as this capital F for the CDF and a small f we use for the PDF probability density function and this capital X is what it is the random variable so this is equals to probability that this random variable X is less than or equals to X okay X is the random variable and these are the values of the random variables random variables take some values from the sample space okay and uh, sample space contains all the values of the outcomes of an experiment so now let's come back to our topic joint cumulative distribution function if you understand the concept of uh, cumulative distribution function then this lecture is going to be very easy for you the joint cumulative distribution function okay so that definition of joint cumulative distribution function we denote it as this f x y x comma y because here we are taking two random variables first random variable is uh, capital x and this one is the second y is the second random variable this capital f denotes the cdf okay so this is this x and y means this is small x are the values from the random variable capital x and y small y means the values from the random variable capital y so this is the notation keep this in mind so we can define it as the joint cdf f of x y of two random variables x and y is defined as the probability that the random variable x is less than or equal to a specified value x and the another random variable y is less than or equal to a specified value y as uh, we have already seen uh, the definition of uh, cdf that uh, it was denoted as the probability that a random variable x is less than a specific value x but here we are using two random variables as it is a combined cdf so two random variables have uh, we have the same uh, condition for both of these two random variables that we had previously for the single random variable x so the, this can be defined mathematically as f of x y okay two random variables f of x y is equals to probability that this first random variable x is less than equal to a specific value x and y is less than equals to a specific value y these are the two random variables capital x and capital y so this is the mathematical notation for the definition of combined cdf or the joint cumulative distribution function joint cdf now we will see the properties of joint cumulative distribution function the property number one is the joint cumulative distribution function is a monotone non-decreasing function of both x and y actually these probabilities are very much similar to what we have discussed uh, in my previous video of uh, cumulative distribution function i recommend you to watch the video i will uh, leave the link of that video in the description of this video so you should watch it to get the concept okay previously we have seen in the cdf video lecture that uh, the cumulative distribution function was the monotone non-decreasing function of x but here it is joint cdf it do not decrease in x and y the property number two is the combined cdf that is the joint cdf is a non-negative function 
mathematically we can represent it as f of x y is greater than equals to 0 it is non negative it is defined as the probability in the joint sample space of random variables and we know that the probability lies between 0 and 1 the maximum probability for any event can be 1 and minimum can be 0 since it is also a probability it is also combined CDF is also a probability therefore it is sure that it will also lie between 0 and 1 so we can say that this combined CDF joint CDF is also a non-negative function since it is a probability now the property number 3 is the joint cumulative distribution function is always continuous everywhere in the xy plane okay this is simple property that it is always continuous in the xy plane so this was all about the joint cumulative distribution function in the next video uh, we will see the joint probability density function that is a joint pdf in detail so keep watching my channel engineering made easy and uh, Please like the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Friends, for more such videos, you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.